Hey everybody and welcome. It is so good that you have joined us today and I am excited and very honored to have my friend Latan Murphy visit with me today. Latan is a speaker, an award-winning freelance writer, and she has a passion for encouraging people to live life to the fullest. Hi, Latan, and thank you for joining me. Hi, if you guys heard a doorbell go off at the end of my driveway, I'm going to trust it's the Holy Spirit because I know that he's here with us. And uh, I just thank you for having me today. I always love talking to you, Fran. Oh, yes. And I enjoy talking with you, too. And uh, I am excited, uh, too, because you have um, a, a new book. I do. Yes. yes I do. Please tell us. Please tell us about that. Um, it's a book entitled His Strength, Her Joy, Finding God-Powered Fulfillment. Mm. And it is about... 10 other women of the Bible. Janet, you know how much I love teaching the women of the Bible, writing about yes. the Bible. And um, they have much to speak into our lives today uh, and to our circumstances today. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, now uh, I know that on the back cover uh, of the book, uh, if you could tell us about that, because it, it's it's uh, I love the title and uh, the book is just beautiful. So if you will share mo a little more about your book. Well, on the back cover, I really express to the readers my true heart for writing this book mm -hmm. in the first place, as yes. all back covers do, yeah. because life brings so many unexpected circumstances that steal our strength and rob us of our joy, a broken vow, a major mm -hmm. illness a loss of a job, mm -hmm. a sudden death. These sudden shifts come along and they threaten to leave us hopeless, lifeless, and, and weak without any strength humanly. Yeah. Yeah. And how can we be strong in the moments that matter when we're trying to go about life and these hard situations and do it in our own strength? And then, then we can't even face the things like managing our kids' school schedules and some of us struggle to want to get out of bed in the morning and get dressed. I hear women tell me that they just lost their joy and their yeah. purpose and their hope and their strength. Mm -hmm. So how can we be strong when life's major responsibilities hit, like parenting and and um, resolving marital strife and caregiving for an elderly parent? Or, you know, and meanwhile, we're grieving that our lives cannot line up in a way that we can connect with friends mm -hmm. and and, and get together like we once could mm -hmm. uh, because we are so busy taking care of all the things. That's right. Because somebody needs our something more and it seems like our something more packed up and left town and took the last yeah. bit of strength and joy we had left with it. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Really, the whole part of this book is that it was never intended to be about our strength at all. Mm -hmm. It was it was always supposed to be about his. It was always supposed to be as believers about our ability and the gift that we have of being able to draw from his power, his strength to experience Absolutely. a joy that he offers. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and not to rely on our strength, but on his strength uh, to, to do that. But I'll tell you, you get caught up. Oh, Latan in in what's going on and you and you just do what you need to do when you need to do it and it's just like you know the adrenaline gets going and then <laughs> and there you are you you're you're caught in all so of that true. so true yeah and I think that I hear this from women our age and younger women older than us even and and then young girls that are in their twenties even yeah. college students are wrestling. Mm with this issue of feeling like they are left on the sidelines of life, feeling weak and lifeless and joyless. Mm -hmm. And that's really sad. So, so is. now is the time that we, I feel like this message of these 10 women, some of them who are scandalous women like Jezebel and Gomar, I call them scandalous women because we can learn from even their stories, women who didn't make like Jezebel good mm -hmm. choices. And yet God included her story because he wants us to learn 
how we have a choice to choose him or not choose him. Right. And choosing him gives us strength and joy and how not choosing him offers de destruction. Mm -hmm. And then women like Gomar, who who were women that um, so many of us could relate to in the world, who've made big mistakes. And there's shame that those women carry. And mm -hmm. to be reminded that the God of supernatural strength wants to fill them with all that he is and all that they are not. That's right. So I'm excited to share this book for many, many reasons, but mostly because I feel like there is such a felt need today more than ever. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. For a time such as this. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Now you also do some teaching. Uh, yes, you had indeed. mentioned uh, online classes for mm -hmm. either a freelance writer or, or any writer. So mm -hmm. go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about that. When I talk about this recent book that I've written, His Strength, Her Joy, I was sharing with you that my heart is not just to come on a broadcast and promote my own work, right? but to be able to multiply the gospel through the work of others. And I, it's something I feel very, very called to, and I've done for several years. It's a workshop called Leverage with Latan. And it simply means that I want to see you leverage what God has placed in your heart and mm -hmm. help you organize your manuscript or, or maybe come up with chapter titles, um, book titles, um, help you catch the vision of God's heart for the message that he wants you to share to make a difference in the world. Yeah, that is awesome. And yeah. um, I am excited about that because, you know, we are here to help each other, build each other up and uh, help each other succeed. And um, so this is a great opportunity uh, that you are offering. And uh, I know that, uh, let's see, you have a website. Let me get that up for you here. And uh, latanmurphy.com. And if you want to connect with her, uh, either about the online classes or, uh, or anything, maybe speaking, uh, you can certainly do that through her website, latanmurphy.com. And um, I just uh, am so excited that you were here to tell uh, about the book. And uh, I'm excited for you. Now, how many books have you written? I think this was my sixth book. One of the books was a revision of a first book entitled Becoming okay. a Woman of Interior Elegance. Mm -hmm. which is still on Amazon. You can still order that. Barnes and Noble carries it. Um, so you know, it's, it's one of these things where somebody asked me the other day, is this your last book? His strength of joy. Do you think, do you see yourself wanting to write more or now speak more? And I would say that whatever the Lord opens up, I definitely know that I am not finished speaking the name of Jesus in yes. whatever way or form that looks. And you know what, if it's helping others get their voices out, right. um, I'm definitely not a publisher. I'm, I'm not an acquisition editor. But I have learned a lot through the different forms of publishing, writing articles, writing books through indie publishing and mainstream marketing publishing. Okay. Yes. And, um, and also I have self-published. So I've done all of the different categories and I feel like it really helps others to decide what is best oh, for yeah. them. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, that's wonderful. So I encourage you to now, where can we purchase your, the, the new book? History. I would, I would encourage you to go to Amazon. It's on sale right now on Amazon. Uh, His strength, her joy. It's a great book too. If I could say this, Janet, for groups, because I've tried to include five questions at the back of every chapter and uh -huh. also a journal section and I tried to include teaching points at the back of every chapter so that the leader or if you're doing it individually, it could be an individual devotional or just mm -hmm. with a friend one on one sure. um, that you could go back through the teaching points and be able to see what were the main key points of this this story. Mm -hmm. And here are the five questions. And now let's gather more strength. 
and now let's get stronger by you writing. How did this woman help you to find strength and joy in your own life circumstances? So there's a journal section for that. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you that the, the cover is beautiful. Uh, mm -hmm. Love the title. And uh, I just know this is going to be uh, such encouragement uh, for us in these days and times. And I, and, and thank you for joining me, uh, for us talking about uh, your new book and for the class, the online class, uh, Leverage with Latan. And so um, I encourage you all to go to her website and uh, connect with her. And thank you, Latan, again for joining me. I just appreciate you so much. Always a joy having you. It's a joy to talk Jesus with you. Thank mm. you for having me. Oh, you are so welcome. Thank so you. welcome. Thank you all for joining. I would like to reach out to Abundant TV and uh, Abundant TV Network. It's a great network for you and your family. Have faith. And look up, friends, where our help comes from. Bye. God bless.